What's up guys? My name is Hadi and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to talk about the multimeter Unity UT61E. It's very affordable and very accurate. So let's do it guys. Hi guys, today I'm talking about a very nice, affordable, portable and accurate multimeter Unity UT61E that you can get it for around $55. If you are one of the guys who does DIY electronics or just want to have a tool at home, this will be great gadget. It is very easy to use and has very simple functions so you can work with it easily. I will put necessary links for more details in description. As you can see guys, it's not big and you can uh, just grab on your hand. Okay, the resolution of this is 22,000 counts DMM. True RMS. There is RS data cable for logs if you want to see and save data on your computer. Then you can install the app and reading the meter live on your computer screen with a graph. The selector is also nice and big. The LCD is crisp and clear. You can see it from almost any angle. There are CAT4 rated for 600 volt, CAT3 for 1000 volt. It's good rating. In the back of the device you can see there is a place for the USB connector and uh, the screw to change your battery. You can open the screw and uh, change the battery. It's a 9 volt battery and the trio screw for opening all the back side. And one screw is under the battery so you have to think about that. Some picture from the box and some from the inside of the device. So here you can see the board, LCD and buttons, board again, there is two fuses and this is the chip. This is the heart of the device. voltage and DC which is a uh, very common use for electronic so I have a Duracell uh, D size battery is rechargeable 1.2 volt 3000 mA ampere yes, nice. so I, I just charge it fully so it should So 1.441 volt. And um, if you want to measure AC volt, you just click on this blue button. So it will go change to AC. And if you want to uh, measure frequency or hertz, just click on this the AC. Volt. Next is um, milli volt. This is resistance. I don't have any uh, resistors to test, so there is nothing to show here. But I just want to say that uh, you can change the f to continuity. Continuity is to test the cables, I think. So if I find anything here, just to show you, for example, this USB cable, if I take this, and the other one, see, so it's show, and the diode also, you click on this, and the a little diode symbol come up. Then the other function is for capacitors. And this is hertz. Guys, just be careful. Don't put this list to more than 
30 volts to measure the hertz in this connection. If you want to measure hertz 220 volts, you have to go here and measure it here. And then next is micro ampere. If you if you want to measure micro ampere, so you can use this. Then milli ampere here, AC and DC. Then ampere here. So if you want to measure this micro ampere, milli ampere, ampere, you have to change this this one to this one, an ampere to this one. For example, if you are a micro ampere, you have to take this up and put it here. It says here on it, so you have to be sure go on the right place. And for the ampere, you have to put this in here. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any question, please leave in the comment. See you next.